Medical marijuana, also called medical cannabis, is a term for derivatives of the cannabis sativa plant that are used to relieve serious and chronic symptoms. Cannabis sativa contains many active compounds, but two are of interest for medical purposes, THC or delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol and CBD or cannabidiol. THC is the primary ingredient in marijuana that makes people high. While every state has laws dictating the use of medical marijuana, more than two-thirds of U.S. states and the District of Columbia have actually legalized it for medical treatments. Yet, while many people are using marijuana, the FDA has only approved it for treatment of two rare and severe forms of epilepsy, Dravet syndrome and Lennox Gustatot syndrome. The fears behind marijuana use are because the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration DEA, considers marijuana a Schedule Class I drug, the same as heroin, LSD, and ecstasy, and likely to be abused and lacking in medical value. Researchers are studying whether medical marijuana can help treat a number of conditions including Alzheimer's disease, epilepsy, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, mental health conditions like schizophrenia and post-traumatic stress disorder. The most common use for medical marijuana in the United States is for pain control. While marijuana isn't strong enough for severe pain, for example, post-surgical pain or a broken bone, it's quite effective for the chronic pain that plagues millions of people, especially as they age. In particular, marijuana appears to ease the pain of multiple sclerosis and nerve pain in general. This is an area where few other options exist, and those that do such an oronotin, lyrica, or opiates are highly sedating. Patients claim that marijuana allows them to resume their previous activities without feeling completely out of it and disengaged. Along these lines, marijuana is said to be a fantastic muscle relaxant and people swear by its ability to lessen tremors in Parkinson's disease. A highly promising area of research is its use for PTSD in veterans who are returning from combat zones. Many veterans and the therapists report drastic improvement and clamor for more studies and for a loosening of governmental restrictions on its study. Medical marijuana is also reported to help patients suffering from pain and wasting syndrome associated with HIV, as well as irritable bowel syndrome and Crohn's disease. Marijuana has a great role also in its use for epilepsy. Approximately one-third of epileptic patients fail to respond to currently available anti-epileptic drugs fully. Patients with a treatment-resistant epilepsy have a higher prevalence of comorbidities, psychosocial and cognitive problems, negative public attitudes and increased risk of mortality. Marijuana has shown some promise as a potential medical alternative in the treatment of a drug-resistant epilepsy with minimal side effects. Marijuana has an important place in the cancer field. It is somewhat effective in chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting and may be a reasonable option in those who don't improve following preferential treatment. Comparative studies have found cannabinoids to be more effective than some conventional antiemetics such as prochlorprazine and metaclopramide in controlling CIMV, but these are used less frequently because of side effects including dizziness, dysphoria, and hallucinations. Some studies have found that smoked marijuana can ease cancer-related pain. It binds to cannabinoid receptors in the brain and other parts of the body. Marijuana may also ease inflammation, which can also help with pain, and there are some small studies that show that marijuana may also help improve appetite for people with cancer. The medicinal use of marijuana takes several forms, including dried leaves or buds for smoking, edible products like cookies, brownies or candies, 
oils for vaporizing or mixing into hot drinks or food, creams that can be applied on the skin, sprays for your mouth or pills and capsules. Inhalation is the most commonly used route of administration, with the quickest onset of action and shortest duration, giving patients the capacity to titrate their dose through adaptive smoking behavior. Oral cannabinoid administration offers a longer duration and a slower onset of action compared to inhalation making titration challenging for patients attempting to achieve desired effects but it's a potential option for individuals in need of relief of symptoms such as chronic pain, arthritis, and select psychiatric disorders. Side effects that have been reported include bloodshot eyes, depression, dizziness, fast heartbeat, hallucinations, low blood pressure, The drug can also affect the judgment and coordination, which could lead to accidents and injuries. When used during the teenage years, when the brain is still developing, marijuana might affect IQ and mental function. Because marijuana contains some of the same chemicals found in tobacco, there have been concerns that smoking it could harm the lungs. The effect of inhaled marijuana on lung health aren't clear, but there is some evidence that might increase the risk for bronchitis and other lung problems. Although there are some promising therapeutic applications of marijuana and the treatment of several conditions, a thorough understanding of patient history and specific patient subpopulations presenting with other states should be considered. Due to its psychotropic effects, cannabis medication is contraindicated for patients suffering from severe personality disorders and who have a higher risk for psychosis. The National Institute on Drug Abuse says, marijuana can be addictive and is considered a gateway drug to using other drugs. The higher the level of THC and the more often you use, the more likely you are to become dependent. Therefore. In order to get medical marijuana, you need a written recommendation from a licensed doctor. You must have a condition that qualifies for medical marijuana use, which differ from one country to another. You may also need to get a medical marijuana ID card. Once you have that card, you can buy medical marijuana at a store called a dispensary. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your family and friends. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell.